Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Bobby Marchesalt. I live in Santa Cruz, California. I blog at www.myworshiprevolution.com. And hopefully it's not too loud and too windy out here. I'm out on the on Highway 1 heading into Santa Cruz. I'm out here because I'll be spending six days on Highway 1 on my bicycle from San Francisco to San Diego this August. From August 24th to 29th, myself and a group of riders will be riding uh, somewhere in the vicinity of 600 miles in order to raise awareness and to raise money for the cause of hemophilia. Uh, this is for the California chapters of hemophilia. You may be wondering why I want to do this ride. I want to introduce you to my cousin, uh, Travis Early, and his wife, Tracy, his son, Zach, and his daughter, Zoe. Zach is seven years old and he has hemophilia. I want to give you a minute to get to know them and hear a little bit of their story right now. My name is Travis Early. I am Bobby's cousin. I live uh, currently in Overland Park, Kansas, just outside of Kansas City. Uh, my son is a hemophilia. We found out that he was uh, born with hemophilia when he was three months old. And a lot of people don't understand it. They don't know what it is. Oh, it's that bleeding thing. Yeah, there's a lot more to it. Uh, it's a pretty rare disease, and most of the time, parents get accused of child abuse. Uh, what happens is your children, they'll get bruises on them. And this is what happened in our case. Zach, as you go to pick up a baby under their arms or right here on their chest, was getting massive bruises. Hi, my name is Zach, and I'm seven. So you have hemophilia, son. What? What's one sport that you wish you could play every day, but you can't? Football. Why? Because it's too rough because it tackles, but, but I can play flat ball. Right. There's always a way to find a way around it, but... The reason you can't play football is if you were to get hit on what place in your body could really hurt you. <laughs> My head. Your head, that's right. What do you get every other day? A shot. Where do they put that shot? In my heart. Which is located where? Yeah, right here. It's under his skin and the needle goes right in there. And you can see how it protrudes out just a little bit so we can find it. Zach knows that he has it. Zach knows that very few children around him have it. But at his age, he's not really grasping what it is. Um, the only time he really gets annoyed having hemophilia and it's something that he goes, I wish I didn't have this, I hate it, is when he gets nosebleeds. That's something that a normal person uh, puts their head back for a minute or two and they walk on, continue their, their day. Zach, we have to uh, basically put him in the shower and just let his nose bleed till it stops. Um, he'll get him in the middle of the night when he first had him not know and you go in his room and think there was a murder in his bed I mean there's blood everywhere and you know he is up you know 30 minutes at a time nose still bleeding and you know he lives with it now he doesn't like it but puts his toys in there and plays in the shower for 30 minutes um, he hasn't had a lot of bleeds yet in his joints we've been very 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 lucky and they're amazed that he hasn't had more every day of your life it's something that is in the back of your head and it's also in the forefront of your thoughts. It's simple everyday living that always you're always thinking about it, you're always living with. So it's in one word pretty stressful. My family would like to uh, thank you for not only hearing our message but for uh, you know possibly contributing to what Bobby is doing. Um, it's, a, it's a lot of help for a lot of people out there and we appreciate it. So like I said, the purpose for this ride is it's really twofold. First of all, to raise awareness uh, about hemophilia. There are thousands of families around the country who live with this. And, uh, you've met Zach. I want to use this opportunity uh, via my blog and other social networks to, to share with you, to help you learn a little bit more about this disorder and to know what families like them go through and, and so that, that I can share their story with you a little bit. We can care for them and pray for them. I want to invite you to partner with me as I take this ride. Allow me to be able to do it uh, by helping to give towards the cause. Between now 
in August, uh, I believe 15th, the week before I leave, I have to raise $3,500 to be able to do this ride. A lot of that money is going to go towards uh, sending these kids to camp, allowing them to go to places especially suited for them where they can be around other kids who have this disorder that they have, where they can be at a place where they're supervised by people who know how to take care of it. Also, it'll go to help the families who deal with this every day. Above all, it'll go to help find a cure for hemophilia. Currently, there is no cure. There is only a treatment. And so hopefully, some of this money uh, will help get to that point where we can find a cure to be able to help uh, these kids and these families and these adults who have hemophilia every single day. You can go to my blog to learn a little bit more about it, www.myworshiprevolution.com. You can add a slash Coastal Race 09 uh, will be the homepage where I'll kind of uh, just have set up for this ride. You also have a link to my active.com page, and that's where you can go to, uh, to give towards this initiative. Every little bit counts, however small it might be. The second way, the other way that you can help me in this process is to share and tell other people about what we're doing. Put it on your blog, embed it there to share with, with readers who you may have. Send them over to, uh, to myworshiprevolution.com or my active.com page to be a part of this. Embed it on your Facebook profile. Share Zach's story with those people and what their family goes through and what other families are living with. Come by my blog as, as the time approaches, I'll be sharing more about uh, my cousin's family, more about hemophilia hopefully sharing the, the journey to and on this ride with you. So thank you so much for taking the time. Thanks for supporting me and I'll see you around.